Hi, I'm Tom Patty from Worth Point, and we're at the Midway Antiques Field here in Brimfield, Massachusetts on this glorious September day. Visiting all of the booths, or as many as we can hit, there are a lot to go through, so join us as we explore Brimfield in September. Today we're with John Magoon, and John has a, a really interesting booth. It's, it's a huge display, all types of items from canoes to, to blankets and vintage boat motors, anything that you can think of, art, furniture, looks like a little bit of everything. And here you have the canoes, you've got racks of oars, just, just all types of folky looking things that, that are you know, they're eye appealing. A lot of people use them to decorate with today. Can you tell us a little bit about the canoes? Well, this first one was made by Old Town and that has a sail that goes with it. And it's a nice clean, about a 1924 Old Town canoe. The next one is made by a guy that was uh, B.N. Morris in V.C. Maine. He uh, made a very nice canoe. The top one is only five years old, but it, it's a uh, birch bark uh, made in New Hampshire that you could actually use today uh, nice selection the history behind them the fact that they've they've made it this long being a canoe in the water out of the water stored outside what's kind of hurt the canoe business lately is everybody wants a plastic kayak you don't have to sand it paint it varnish it throw it out in the snowbank and store it if you want or use it tomorrow a canoe you really have to take care of it or it won't last too long any any hints that you can offer someone who's starting out collecting the next generation things to look for trends or what do you, what do you think i always tell people you should buy the best that you can afford to purchase if you bought a nice little quality canoe today even though it must be probably two or three times more than the plastic kayak it's always going to be worth Instead of zero like the kayak in two years, it'll be worth more, you know, every, uh, every year a little more. What have you seen through the years and, and what do you think may be the trend of, of the years to come in the antique business? The economy and people are nervous with the elections coming up and people are holding back. So it's much more difficult to sell, let's say, large quantities than it used to be. Well, it was great talking to you. Pleasure meeting you. Thanks, John. We've seen a lot of interesting things here at Brinfield, from Czechoslovakian glass to canoes and just anything that you can think of. So visit us at www.worthpoint.com.